Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your first C++ project in Visual Studio 2015. So first of all, open up your uh, Visual Studio and then go to File and then go to New and then click Project. And this is going to create, give you this kind of project wizard, right? Now in here you will be able to see different kind of templates on the left hand side. And in the templates, you will also find Visual C++, right? So just select Visual C++. And then we are going to create the console application. Console application means whenever you are going to compile and run your C++ program, it's going to show the result in the console or a command line terminal, okay? So select Win32 console application. And in here, you can give the name to your application. For example, CPP project. And the, the next is the location, wherever you want to save the location. If you are not sure, then leave this uh, field as default and then click OK. This is going to create a new empty C++ project. But first of all, it's going to ask you something. So this kind of uh, you know window is going to pop up whenever you want to create a C++ project which says welcome to the win32 application wizard so you, here you just need to click next and here uh, as we can see that uh, it's going to be a console application the additional option you may want to check here is the empty project so you don't want any of uh, the ALT headers or MFC headers, you want to start from the beginning, right? So we want an empty project. That's why we uh, need to select here, empty project, okay? And then click finish. Once you click finish, it's going to create the project for you, which is going to be empty, but uh, we don't need to worry about it. We uh, will create a new uh, CPV file by ourselves. So let the project uh, be created. And in here, you can see on the right hand side on the Solution Explorer, your project is created. And then there are some uh, folders here like a header file folder or uh, the resource file folder or source files folder. So what you need to do is you need to go to source file. So just select source files and then right click on source files and then select add and then select new item or you what you can do is you can just select your project itself and then right click on it and then go to add and then select new item okay it's going to open the same uh, you know window and here we need to create the cpp file and we are going to name our file as main.cpp now uh, it's a good practice whenever you uh, want to create a small application name your uh, you know cpp file as main.cpp so you know that this is the main entry point of your uh, c++ program okay so just uh, give the name main.cpp and then add this file which is going to create a file and you can see here it's automatically going under source file so this cpp extension means it's our source file if the file extension is .h it's going to go in the header files right now let's write some code here let me make the font a little bit bigger and then first of all we are going to include io stream right so just write uh, include and then include io stream this option and then we are going to create our main function so just write int main and give these brackets and in the curly brackets first of all we are going to return something so just write return uh, one and then above this we will uh, print something for example hello world so just write std 
colon colon and c out and then your message for example hello world and then we are going to end our line so just write std endl which stands for end line okay and then just save your code and to run your code you just need to uh, you know press this green button which is going to compile your project first of all whenever you uh, you know press this green button it's going to save your program so it's going to say do you want to save your pro program you can just say yes and you can uh, just build the program so what this is going to do is it's going to build the program building means compiling okay so compiling the program and once it's compiled it's going to launch your solution in the terminal so you can see the terminal is open and then it's gone as soon as uh, you see hello world right now in order to uh, you know see uh, this terminal window constantly you can uh, just write here for example std and then uh, call uh, c input dot get okay so what this is going to do is it's going to wait for the input from the user and which in turn is going to uh, you know uh, allow you to see the terminal and it's going not to uh, disappear right and once again just press this button which is going to compile or build your uh, you know application once again and it's going to launch it right and you can see hello world is printed and as soon as you give any uh, input or press any key it's going to disappear the terminal right so in this way you can create your first c plus plus project in visual studio 2015 i hope you enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now